Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome to this episode of my Greek Orthodox Odyssey. There are hundreds of parishioners here waiting for the arrival of His All Holiness, the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople, Bartholomew, who was visiting Australia. This is his second visit to Australia. I thought it was his first, but since yesterday I've been corrected, and this is his second visit to this beautiful country. He has been the leader amongst equals for over 33 years within the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church and is one of the many strong links in a very, very long chain of successors to the first apostles. His flock number in excess of 250 million Christians who he has unlimited co-responsibility for their spiritual journey and salvation. Interestingly, he is the longest serving leader of the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church who has spread the love and word of God and has engineered many good works through the many volunteers and institutions that are run by the many vibrant church communities. A man of God who has guided the church over three decades and over a generation through many tough years where secularism has threatened and overcome many other denominations <laughs> in a dynamic and broken world. May God give him strength and health to continue the mission that was his unique calling and may he leave the body of Christ, the church, in a stronger position than how he received it and to pray for our salvation <coughs> as we will continue to pray for his. So we've got the priests here, the holy clergy from all of the churches here in New South Wales and Canberra who have come to welcome and to receive His Holiness. And today is a special event here at the Archdiocese Church where there will be a doxology celebrating the 100th anniversary, the 100, 100 years of the Archdiocese, the Greek Archdiocese here in Australia. It is a special occasion and it's a very, very rare occasion to have the Patriarch of Constantinople, the longest serving Patriarch that the world has ever seen and one of the greatest leaders that we've ever had here in our country, in our city, in our churches, is indeed a very, very big honour. A very big honour indeed. So uh, in the next 15 minutes or so, we'll, he we'll have His Eminence, His Holiness, His Great Holiness, walking down in a procession, and I will video it as best I can. We've got a band here as well, and all of Cleveland Street is blocked off with security at the max for this important very special day. I had the great honour yesterday of going to Kingsford Smith Airport to welcome um, the ecumenical patriarch with uh, about a thousand other people. To tell you the truth, I expected more people to be there, but uh, so be it. But uh, he was wonderful, he waved to everybody and what I'll do is I'll continue walking up here to try and get the full procession and to talk through what I see.
and what happens. And of course, the climax, the climax tomorrow is going to be at uh, the ICC in Sydney, where we'll have a patriarchal liturgy where 8,000 pilgrims, Christian pilgrims from all over Sydney, all over New South Wales, who are ticket holders, will turn up to this special audience with His Holiness and uh, it'll be in dead and honour. I'm very fortunate to have organised tickets for myself and my family and I will hopefully be attending Prototheos and participating with reverence in the uh, Holy Communion as well. For me this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be here and to, I guess, be in the presence of a holy man, a man of God, and to um, be in the presence of one of the world's, as I said before, greatest leaders, the world's longest serving leader. Oh, Lord. 